this video let's talk about integration of sine mx cosine n of x dx okay where m is not equal to n okay and, and essentially we just have a bunch of formulas three formulas that we need to I, i'm not quite sure that your teacher will actually allow you to memorize these it's literally usually a formula is given for this these types of problems but these integrations are not that super important but again you know if, if it's been thought in your calculus 2 class you, you should know it Okay, and so this is a general form that we're going to follow. If we have sine of a, sine of b, then the integration is given by one half of cosine of a minus b, one half of cosine of a plus b. And again, you could review these other twos by yourself. But let's look at a simple problem. So what if we want to integrate the, the idea of sine 2x cosine 3x dx? Well, notice that this maps to this one, okay? And so we have a. So there's our a and there's our b. Okay, and so if I look at this, the integral now is actually going to be given by, well, notice I have a one half. Okay, and so if I could factor out a one half, so it becomes the integral of one half. Well, we have sine of a minus b, so a is 2x minus uh, b, which is 3x. That was what I write, bx, so this is 3x. Okay, plus, well, because we factor out a one half, we just have, in this case, sine of a which is 2x plus 3x which is b okay we have our dx here okay so again if we simplify this more the integral is given by one half times the integral sine of sine of negative x okay plus sine of 5x dx okay so because sine is an odd function, I could just simply take my negative out to the front. So this becomes the integral of negative one half times the integral of sine of positive x. Okay, I'm gonna split it up. I'm gonna distribute my integral. Okay, so that becomes that. Okay, and I have my dx here. Now remember, this negative only applies to this, to this integral and not this integral here. So I still have my positive one half times the integral of sine of five x dx. Okay, so I wanted to make this clear. I just pushed this negative out because of the because of the way the function that sine is. So this negative only applies to this part of the uh, of the integral and not this part. This this one half times the integral is distributed to this to this five x here. So I just want to make that clear. And again, in this case, we know the integral of sine of x that happens to be uh, cosine of x. So this is uh, negative one half times negative cosine of x. Okay, because the integral of sine of x is negative cosine of x. Okay, you gotta know that because if I take my derivative, the derivative of cosine of x is negative uh, sine of x. Okay, well, if I have a negative times a negative, that will give me a positive, which is given by the original function. Okay, so the antiderivative of sine of x is negative cosine of x plus one half times, well, I have a one fifth here because the integral of cosine to the fifth, sine fifth of x is actually, um, we have that to be negative cosine to the, uh, cosine fifth of x. Okay, because we have a five here, we gotta, we gotta multiply that by one fifth plus c, okay? And so if we clean this up a little bit, the integral is given by, well, negative times the negative is a positive, this becomes one half cosine of x, minus one over 10 cosine five x plus c. So again, these integrals are very easy. The only thing I'm doing is just following the formula. Again, these formulas should be provided. If they're not, uh, I don't want to say teachers suck, but uh, it sucks, okay? Okay, so again, nothing hard.